you are loved. You are loved by God. In Vitalize, over the coming few weeks, we are going to be exploring something of our identity when we say yes to a friendship with Jesus, according to the Bible. And this week, we are exploring the theme of love, of God's love for us. And I want to begin by asking you a question. What do you love? Out of everything, what are those things that you are like, I love this. I have some things with me and I'm going to share them with you and I am going to put them on a scale from the thing that I love the most to the thing that I love the least. Now these are all things that I do definitely love, so even the ones down here I still love, but this is a scale of loving the most to the least. And why don't you guys join in at home with these items? Maybe there are other things that you would add. Maybe there are things on mine that you would be like, uh, no, I'm going to get rid of that one completely. But let's get started. The first thing that I have is I have a game of Taboo. And if you else ever played Taboo, great game. Maybe there are other games that you've played. One of the things that I love is I love hanging out with friends and with family and playing games. So for now, I'm going to pop that one down in the middle. I wonder where would that go on yours? Maybe it wouldn't feature at all. Next one. I love, I've got a DVD here because I love chilling out in front of the TV, catching up on films or watching a new series on Netflix. So I think that I enjoy chilling out in front of the TV. Oh, I'm going to put that just here. I don't know where it will go on your scale, but I'm going to put that just here. So a little bit less than playing games. Okay, next one. I have a picture of my dog. Maybe some of you guys have pets. Maybe some of you guys have friends that have pets, but this is a photo of my dog and I love my dog. In fact, of all the things that I have with me today, I think I love my dog the most. So my dog, he's going to feature all the way down at this end. I'm going to pop him on there. Okay, next one. I have my coffee cup because I love hanging out with friends, catching up, grabbing a coffee and chatting with them. And do you know what? Do you guys enjoy hanging out with friends? Do you guys enjoy catching up, maybe grabbing a coffee? I think, to be fair, that it's probably one of my favourite pastimes. So I'm actually going to put that one all the way up here. And I've got one more. I have one more. I have a tub of Ben and Jerry's. Sadly, it is empty. Anybody else enjoy a good ice cream? What's your favourite flavour? This, I think, is one of mine, a blondie brownie core. There are, of course, other ice cream brands available, other ice cream flavours available, but this is one of my favourites. Do you know, I quite enjoy a tub of ice cream. Oh, where do I put it? Oh. Do you know what? I enjoy a tub of ice cream, I think, when I'm catching up on the TV. I'm going to put it down here with my DVD. I wonder if you had these items in front of you, where would they be on your scale? Would there be any others? Would some of these not feature? Do you know, we use the word love a lot. We use the word love to describe those things that we enjoy doing. Maybe to describe the places that we enjoy going. Maybe to, the, uh, to describe the people that we enjoy hanging out with. We use the word love in so many different contexts. The word love was also used a lot through the Bible. And in Greek, there were different translations for the word love. And each had a slightly different meaning. But one of those words was the word agape. And agape translates to be unconditional love. The kind of love that God has for you and for me. Agape love. Unconditional love. Love is a word that's used so much. But when we use it in this context, when we talk about how much God loves us, what does that fully mean. 
Well, I would love you to come back and to join me tomorrow as we unpack in a little bit more detail what the Bible says about the love that God has for us.